Oh, hello, B. It's your boy, Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, we have a first impressions of a fragrance from the house of Burberry, and we're talking about Burberry Hero. Voice of the Hero. Voice of the Hero. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Baby, he the voice. Let me stop. <laughs> Listen, um, here's the deal. I went into the mall. I was looking for Versace Eros Parfum. But I came across this one here. They did not have it. At least not right now. And I'm like, cool, box it up for me. Let me get it and we'll try it out on camera. So that's what we will do. Now, <clears throat> with the name like. For anyone who was into ASMR, there you go. <laughs> All right. With the name like Hero, I would expect this fragrance to be dynamic. I expect this fragrance to be the savior of the Burberry line because after years of mediocre at best fragrances maybe this is the one to change the game now from what i do know about this fragrance this is like the first one with their creative director right that they have and they got him from Givenchy. oh man i can't remember his name to see or something like that all right uh but they got it from Givenchy and he's been doing a epic job in terms of changing what the brand has been about right and also boosting sales with the clothing aspect and all of that design stuff so as a creative director he took on a fragrance and we will see if this will be the hero and the cash cow as it comes into the fragrance game for Burberry or will burberry touch still reign supreme all right so here you go man one i think heroes should be a little bit um more robust all right this one's a little understated but maybe that's the thing maybe it's just a heroic thing popping out nudes the color tone is nude or khaki all right here we go let's go one two all right two sprays and we are in the game good distribution there spray this thing on skin see what it comes out to be all right okay so right now I'm not sure that this will be the hero of the fragrance world but it's okay first spray of this fragrance I get something that is bright it's fresh um, definitely some type of bergamot or something in the top. I'm not sure where the bergamot is from, but it's definitely there. <clears throat> now, also with this scent, I get something that is mm, generic. All right, nothing too exciting about this fragrance right now. I feel like this fragrance from my first spray of Hero is a scent that anyone could get away with. All right, for sure. This is a bright fresh clean scent all in i won't say all in it hasn't like completely developed yet now along with that freshness that you get here there's beginning to get some type of uh, spices in the backbone right but it's not like a spicy scent but it's like maybe some wood and spice there um and that's what i get so far now along with this there's like this eh, ever so slight touch of this creamy sweetness it's very slight touch it's like you picked up a little dab and you just dashed it but there's more of that spicy component here than um, originally let on now with that being said it's not like a spicy scent that i'm getting but it's there um for me burberry hero is not better than burberry touch now i know some of you out there is like hold up b Burberry Touch is like your favorite. It's one of them, not the favorite, but one of them. And it's been around forever. Now, when I think about what the creative director has been able to do with the clothing aspect, I think 
his name is like Ricardo Tusi or something of that nature. Don't give, correct me if I'm wrong down in the chat pod, whatever you want to call it, comment section. All right, um, I was expecting more, especially with a name like Hero, and it's hard uh, for a lot of these designer fragrances out there to come out with something right now that beats Elixir. Right, I think Elixir sets the tone for what you have to do in fragrances as 2021 as a designer scent. I think that that's what you have to do is kind of set that as a tone. Obviously, they're coming out around the same time frame, so I don't think they knew what each other had planned. But if I'm spelling these two next to each other on a shelf, I'm not picking up Hero. Hmm. It's nothing exciting about this scent so far. That freshness quickly went away in terms of what we've done so far um there's some woodiness in the backbone here but nothing too exotic it comes off as a normal run-of-the-mill scent and a bit blank on the first impressions all right let me let me try again i'll amp it up with sprays make sure i'm not tripping but i don't think i am now on this arm um, as you saw i did a bunch of sprays there and although it comes off a lot stronger it's still a bland scent now what i'll tell you with all of the sprays that i did here i'm getting a lot more of that uh dry down what i'm expecting here with a lot of woods and it's like woods on top of woods on top of woods and it's more earthy than fresh on this arm Versus this arm, um, it's fresh and then earthy. And then the wood notes in here doesn't come off as something that's super authentic, but it does have this stale wood feel to it. I'm not impressed. All right, Hero is not a hero for me. Um, I'll wear it. I'll give it its four courses and tell you if Hero comes off to be a dud or a super villain for, st for stealing my money. But uh, right now, man, um, I'm not impressed with Hero. I would love to know what your thoughts are. Did you add this one to your collection? Right now, if I'm thinking of 2021 releases around this type of feel that have that fresh feel, a lot of you out there don't enjoy Ralph's Club. I think Ralph's Club is better than this, at least on first spray. Um, you know, Phantom, I think Phantom is better than this, at least on first spray. Obviously, Elixir is better than this. Even the Dolce & Gabbana um, light blue fragrance that they released this year. I'm not a huge fan of that grapefruit note, but I think it's better than this. There you have it. That's my first impression on Burberry Hero. Again, I'll bring back the full review. I'll give it its full course wearing, projection, percent profile, compliment factor, etc. But right now, Hero's looking like a villain. That's all I have for you guys and girls today. As always, I'm your boy, Big B. B to make the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn.